Hey y'all, Chief Lambers here with you today. I wanted to take a moment and show you how to set up a customized view for your incident list. A lot of people have heard rumors that this is available and hopefully this will be something that will uh, simplify your life as far as trying to find incidents that need your attention. So I'm logged into the online version of Image Trend. I'll need to confirm that I'm at my appropriate agency level. We'll be setting up an EMS view today one that's designed for supervisors that need to go in and review call sheets for people that uh, work for them. So I'm ensuring that I'm at the appropriate agency. In this case, I am. I'm at the Department of Fire Rescue, which is our EMS agency. Click on Incidents and go to Show Me My Existing EMS Incidents. You'll notice your view should come up as a default view. I've already changed mine, and, and I'll explain that further in this tutorial. And seeing how this is a view that I've created, I have the ability to edit it. If you haven't yet changed your view and you're just looking at the system default, odds are you won't have this edit button here. So we're about to show you how to get this edit button to show up and more importantly how to create your own custom view. So you'll start by clicking on the view all button and that's going to bring you to this incident list views and allow you to add a new one. Uh, here's all the ones that are available. There's a few that I've already created, the my views, there's some that are system level and there's some that image trends created for us. Nonetheless, what we're interested in today is talking about a new view. So it's going to ask you a simple question, EMS or fire. We'll go ahead and set up an EMS one. First thing that you have to make a decision is what you'd like to call this. Seeing so a lot of people are asking me how they can set up a view to only look at PCRs that need their attention. We'll set that up as a supervisory view. It's going to be a private view. You're not allowed to set up one for throughout the system, so it should default to private. You're able to add a description if necessary. So as we get into the meat of the, uh, the tutorial here, the first thing you need to decide is what you need to show up on your incident views. So I'm going to type in the word incident, and that's going to give me a couple choices. Odds are I'd like to probably see the incident number first, so I'll highlight that, bring it over. I may want to see the incident address, so I'll go ahead and bring that over. Um, I also may want to see the date of the call, so typing in the keyword date allows me to do that. Basically, this function right here just allows me to search through different fields so I don't have to um, scroll through it manually. If you prefer to scroll through manually, go ahead. I also may like to see the status. And the last thing I may want to see is who actually submitted the report. So you're able to search through all of these fields just by using keywords or ultimately by scrolling up and down. Highlight the fields that you want to go across. The more you bring across, the busier your screen is going to be. So I'm going to limit it to, to just these five. The next thing I want to do is see how I want to see it uh, to sort. It's going to default likely to the incident number descending, but you can change it by any of the fields, ascending or descending. We're not really going to worry about filters right now, but we are going to talk about criteria. Criteria are things that you can go in and pick a certain field and limit your view to only show stuff based on what you put in here. And so for example, seeing how this is for supervisory review, the first thing that you may be interested in is only looking at call sheets that are submitted for apparatus that you supervise. So to get that to, to come into play, click on the plus button. Go ahead and do the same search function. I'm looking for a unit number and I'm going to pretend that I'm from uh, station 11 at the moment. So I'm only worried about medic 11. And so I select the option as far as filtering. I'd like to say includes one of these. It's going to then allow me to search through all the apparatus. Type in rescue 11. And so now that statement, unit number includes one of these RS-11, is going to limit this to only look at Medic-11 calls. The next thing that I'm going to want to check for is I probably only want to see the call sheets that are in a specific status. Specifically, I want it to include either ready for supervisor review or needs attention because if I've already reviewed it and submitted it back to someone that works for me, I want to know if they've already done their job. So those are the two only two statuses I'm worried about for this view. Uh, additionally, I may only want to see things that are on my shift, so that way I'm not worried about the other shifts. Now, if you work at Station 11, it should nicely fill out to be either A, B, or C. However, to get to show up in, in the event that someone leaves the shift blank, you'll want to say includes none of these. If I work for B shift, I'm not interested in A shift, I'm not interested in C shift, day shift, or volunteer, but what this allows is this allows me to see the B shift calls as well as any call sheets that have been entered and the shift has not yet been filled out. So those are the filters that I'm going to put into play right here. I'm going to go up and save my view. If I'd like to make this my default view, that's very easily accomplished by highlighting the more button, make this your default view. I'm not going to do that at this point. 
from here, go back to your incidents, and let's go back to our incident list for EMS. You'll notice it's defaulting to my current one that uh, I have as a default. Once you have a view that you can edit, the edit button will now be available for you. Let's go ahead and change it to the one that I just made, supervisor review. It's going to show up in the my view section. So supervisor review. Once you, you'll see the incident list becomes a lot smaller. So um, these are some that uh, have been submitted. Uh, B shift was on yesterday, so it looks like uh, the captain sent some back to one of the providers to go ahead and need some attention. If for some reason you want the date range to change, you can just click out of the date range and it'll fill that. Or if you have a specific date range that you're looking for, by all means, just type in a date. But uh, that's a very quick tutorial showing you how to set up uh, and, and hopefully get your uh, list view down to something that's a little bit more manageable. So hopefully this has been helpful, and uh, please let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.